Yo guys, how's everybody doing? Today we're going to be doing the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, season preview right before we do the uh, record prediction and who's going to win the division. So let's get right into it. Big Ben is going to be the first topic of, of conversation. First topic of conversation, I can't speak. So the reason why is he's going to be healthy. He's going to be playing this year, at least for week one. And... I'm excited. This offense is going to be above average this year. I I said in a couple of videos that James Conner is really average, and that that is true. I made a video saying, is he good or average? I said he is average in the video and talked about why. And the Steelers fans hated me. The Steelers fans disagreed with me. Every other 31 fans, Fan bases agreed with me. So it seems as if the Steelers are the only team that believe that James Conner is half decent. So the rest of the league knows that James Conner is an average running back. They drafted Benny Snell in the fourth round last year. They drafted another running back this year. They also signed two more running back free agents. James, excuse me, James Conner as a free agent at the end of the season. That is all leading up to the Steelers either not bringing him back or expecting him to flop. He was very, very inconsistent when he was on the field last year. Also, he was barely on the field. He only played in 10 games. He only really played in eight because he didn't finish those games. He left the game with injury. And and, and a very bad yards per carry. Uh, got the ball in the out of the backfield Catching the ball in the backfield, I should say, a lot. And he still couldn't make up for that. He couldn't get a lot of yards from that, I would say. So, Big Ben into the equation is going to help the team a lot. Okay? And having Juju, having Switzer, ha having that receiving corp, Deontay Johnson, and, and all those boys. No more Dante Moncrief for Steelers fans to deal with. I think that it it is going to be a good year for Pittsburgh. But the past three prediction videos, or, or preview videos, I've said the Steelers are going to win the division. And then people watch this and are like, how are you going to say the Steelers are going to win the division? But then their offense is so, like their offense isn't good. Even with Big Ben back. That defense. Pittsburgh defense, when they traded for Minka Fitzpatrick, that defense went from average to elite real real quick. Like a snap of a finger, they went from average to elite. And there's no question whether you're a Ravens fan or not, whether you're a Steelers fan or not, Steelers fans will all agree that Steelers defense is elite. Ravens fans have to admit that, that Steelers defense is elite. So... Why is the rest of that division in such a question mark when Steelers fans look at it from that perspective? I don't think the Ravens are going to bounce back and have a good 14-2 season. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be like a 12-14. and I think the Pittsburgh Steelers, that defense is going to crowd the ball. They're going to force turnovers, like just like they did last year. And then that offense will slowly carry the load with Juju and Big Ben and a good offensive line with... A bunch of running backs on that roster with Snell, um, even Samuels, and um, obviously James Conner. But that team is going to be very, very good. And I honestly, this is the biggest question mark is because, back of my head, I know who I think is going to win each division this year. This year. The only two divisions I have questions with is the AFC South and the AFC North. Because the Steelers, if Big Ben doesn't play, then that team's obviously not going to win the division. If Mason Rudolph's their quarterback, that's a big difference than Big Ben. If Devlin Hodges is the quarterback, that's a big difference than Big Ben. Is James Conner going to be healthy throughout this year? Is he going to get injured midway through the season again? Or they got to rely on their number two and three running backs. Or are they going to have to rely 100% on their defense again? Are they going to go 8-8 eight eight again? Th th those are the things for this 
Steelers team that I think is in question every week. They'll be like, okay, is Big Ben playing? All right, they're probably going to win. Oh, Devlin Hyde is just playing? Oh, that team's probably going to lose. Oh, Mason Rudolph's playing? Oh, they're probably going to lose. That's the way it was last year, every single week, even though there was no question, is Big Ben playing? Oh yeah, after the week one injury, Big Ben is out for the entire year. It was either Rudolph, and, and the thing that irritates me about the Steelers, I'm not a Steelers fan, I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm going to say this during every video. That They drafted Joshua Dobbs out of Tennessee, right? Then the following year, they draft Mason Rudolph. And, and they missed, they swung hard and missed on two quarterbacks to be the successor of Big Ben. And them swinging and missing two times really showed how much they need Big Ben to be successful. Without Big Ben last year, that offense was atrocious. They were below league worst. That offense was so sad to watch. And... Now the Steelers are in a situation where they have no success plan, successor plan for Big Ben. They drafted Dobbs in 18. Like, is it 18? Oh, well, yeah, I think they, they drafted Dobbs in 18 to be the successor of Big Ben. He struggled in the preseason and in a camp. So they drafted Mason Rudolph this year, or last year, 2019. And they're like, okay, we got to trade one of them. So they trade Dobbs to the Jaguars for like a fifth round pick or something. Mason Rudolph was a flop. Devlin Hodges was a 50-50 shot. So now Big Ben is up there in age, winding his screw down. And those two quarterbacks they drafted to be the successor of Big Ben are not there. They're not working. They're the ones in Jacksonville. Their, 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 their plans are not working. And then the Steelers did it. That's a quarterback this year. So I think... And the Steelers are preparing to have Big Ben this entire year. They're preparing to go there. So I think the Steelers are going to be like a 10-6 and 6 team, 11-5 and 5 team. Their, their high peak is 12-4. and 4. Their low is 8-8. Eight and eight. The Steelers are either going to be 8-8, 9-7, 10-6, 11-5, or 12-4. They're not going to be like 7-9. They're going to be a winning record team. Mike Tomlin will carry that team to a 500 record. Um, whether you like me saying that or whether you don't. Um, but... They have a lot of potential for big bands at their quarterback. Sorry this video is boring if you are watching it. But next video, we're going to be talking about who will win the AFC North. I'm going to go on a predicament of every single team, uh, explain their record, and then I would be doing record predictions. So, that's the video.